Well, well, what is happening in the uh, great state of Georgia? Uh, the great state of Georgia. Well, Georgia actually used to be Florida. <laughs> used to be Cuba. <laughs> and uh, it needs to return to be like that. Because, uh, uh, oh, during all the uh, 15, uh, well, actually, since God created the planet until uh, 1819, uh, all those uh, territories were included with uh, uh, originals and um, people from the Iberia Peninsula. And it ran just fine. It was uh, basically uh, a forest and everyone was doing fine except the cities where they have uh, slaves and the slaves in all those plantations actually were not from the Iberia Peninsula. They were from the English side. And all that uh, uh, basically uh, exploitation of humanity continue on today. And that is the problem we have uh, in Georgia today is 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 the since the day you were born the uh, these uh, politicians are sort of like divided themselves into two into into two uh, half uh, and they call themselves um, uh, uh, Republicans and they call themselves Democrat Democrats and Republicans but remember that this is Georgia. It's not about Democrats and Republicans. It's about, it's about white and black, white and black. That is actually the parties in Georgia. And I, I'm going to explain the best I can. I wish I'll be, uh, I will be eloquent enough to, uh, to express myself where you understand me co completely. But basically what is happening is they, in the United States of America, the two ideas or two parties, remember these are private parties. These two private parties that govern the United States of America and all our institutions, basically they have a, um, a, uh, an a strategy. And this strategy is for you to attach themselves to their way of thinking. So they have a distinctive and, and secure um, ideas that they sell to you via information technologies. I don't want to get too complicated because it throw you off. But basically, A and B, they get together in a place someplace, and they in a McDonald's or a, a coffee shop someplace, and they say, "Listen, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to be a conservative, conservative, and you're going to be a liberal, a liberal, and we're going to stick with that." And that way, people who want to be liberal, they hang out with us. And people who want to be conservative, hang out with you. That is all good, good in saying, except that in Georgia, that does not work. And I'm going to tell you the reason. And the reason is, they racism. They, they believe in races. They believe not in a single race, a human race. They believe in, in pigmentation in the skin. So now, remember, the Republicans and the Democrats are included in this same idea. So they cannot define themselves. They can only define, define themselves in Georgia when they pass laws against no longer the minority, but against the other uh, 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 idea of uh, pigmentations. Uh, let me see how can I put an example of this. Okay, this is a great example. The Republican Party was the party of Lincoln. The party of Lincoln was the one who freed the slave, accordingly, accordingly to history, because in my opinion, it did not. So now, the Democratic Party was the party of the slave, the party of the uh, the party that still 
the the uh, Iberians uh, uh, symbols like the Cuban symbols like the uh, la, la Cruz de San Andres or the the uh, the San Andres cross and 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 all of that. So that party is the one they they wanted to be the Iberians. They wanted to be the conservative, right? But 1862 come along, all the way to 1865, and guess what? They lost the Civil War. So now they have to be Yankees. Now they have to be Yankees. So now they do not want to be Yankees. Now they need to figure out how to combine all these people to, to be able to govern. So now they're going to the white and the black, the white and the black and the Hispanicos. Remember, there was Spain. So now they got Hispanicos and now they have to say, no, 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 wait a minute. They are not the same as us, uh, they, they different. So now you have a party, they actually pass law against, against people with dark pigmentation in their skin, right? And they are the Democrats. <laughs> not the Republicans. So now, so now everybody is basically equally in the division of pigmentation. The division into people who want to be English and people who wants to be the United States of America. Something Swiss and the demography, the people with pigmentation in their skin now are the majority. It's the opposite now than what it was in the 1860s. And hell is breaking loose in Georgia because they completely lost control of that, um, how can I say, that dialogue. They, it's all about white and black, white and black. So it's no longer about white and black. So now they try, they are trying to define themselves with a different idea or different strategy there was the original strategy with reconstruction, but it have not worked in Georgia. And, and that is where we are. That is why they trying, the, the, uh, the, the, the people who called themselves whites, whites or assigned themselves to that color, now they are fighting back. And how they fight back? Via the, uh, the institutions, via private institutions. And that is no longer going to work because the majority is no longer pigmented like uh, an Englishman. Now we have a biology that is evolving, and a, 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 a true biology, a strong biology. And this strong biology is not going to allow any, any uh, craziness anymore in the United States of America. So now that put ourselves, the United States of America, into a weak position, actually. And that is something that, uh, that this is the reason that I'm making this, uh, these comments on, uh, on YouTube, so people can realize how, how in danger the United States is. And, and the danger is that the humans follow, the humans naturally, the, the majority of them follow, they are followers. They follow whatever you put in front of them. They are primates. We are primates. So, and, and a, smart, a smart group of primates can easily, easily destroy the other one via ideas. It's, an idea is more powerful than, than anything else. So, because we are divided in color coding and now we can no longer have an, a, uh, a, a singularity with ideas like uh, name of parties like Republican or Democrat or Communist or LBGT party or, uh, or uh, 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 anarchist party or whatever party you want to do. Now an, an external, external beam can come in and completely make us fight one another. Another civil war. Another fight in between one another, in between families. And that is the Europeans. That is the people who lost 
the United States of America, the Europeans, the English, the French, the Spanish. Remember, they created the United States of America, the Spanish and the English, and then we turned around in 1818 and took whatever they have left uh, uh, from the continent in uh, 1898, they took all the uh, the islands, of Cuba and Puerto Rico and so on. So they, these people have not forgotten that. The English have not forgotten. The, we stick our fingers to King George. And the only, the only way they can, they, can, they can win is by dividing us. And that is exactly what is happening. They have taken control of the information and they are dividing us in between colors, in between color coding. And it is very strong in Georgia, especially in Georgia. You have to understand that these people, in 1980, when I was living there, at a church, at a Christian church, they tell me, no, we have to go uh, to the city council today because uh, we're having a, uh, a meeting and it's about lighting up the city, lighting up the streets. And uh, we don't want that. And my question was, I think that is the most beautiful thing, being able to light up the city so people can walk and bike at night and, uh, and having a great time and get together on, uh, uh, on, the, on the street light. And they say, no, we cannot have that. And I ask, why not? He said, because the niggers come over. Just like that. And this is a Christian church. So that is how strong this racism is in Georgia. They, they prefer go dark without electricity, without rail cars, without buses, without bike lines, without, without civilization because in their mind, they are going to be invaded by a different human with a different color pigmentation. That is how crazy these people in Georgia are and how conditioned their, their reflexes are. That is Georgia right now. That was Georgia 40 years ago. Have nothing changed. What was Georgia in uh, uh, early 1800s, uh, 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 early, uh, uh, let's say, 1819? Well, there were free Spaniards, there were Cubans, there were Puerto Ricans, there were Dominicans, there were people from the United States of Mexico, Venezuela, there were people from the Iberia Peninsula, free people, they were native, they were native, and guess what? They were free slaves that escaped from the English colonies, from the United States of America. They recently was created by those same people, those same Cubans, those same Spaniards in Georgia, in Georgia, they was actually Florida. So analyze that, that is still there, that uh, they haven't gone nowhere. So politics in Georgia is all about identity. It's all about black and white and Hispanicos and Latinos and native and all that craziness. No longer they are able to define a private political party no longer so they have to they have to fight one another on racial basis and to do that they have to control the way of of uh, of uh, people condition reflexes how people vote how people see themselves and that is all about what Georgia is and that is one of the reasons that I do not live in the state of Georgia that I pack up and left and I will never return to the state of Georgia unless he changes his name to Florida and the Crosos and Andros will fly again 
not the one that they stole from us. No, the correct one. <laughs> so <laughs> there you have it. The cross of St. Andrews does not belong to the rebels, does not belong to any, anyone who is conditioned to be white or black or Hispanic or Latin. The cross of St. Andrews belong to the Iberians, belong to the United States of America. So unless that flag will fly up there, hey, I will not return there. So how to fight this is very easily. And I've been saying this for years now. We, mu we must take control of the information. All this division is happening because the English are controlling CBS, ABC, CNN, NPR, and they're repeating to you every single day that you are an American, that you are an American, that you are an American, that you are an American colonial. That is what the Europeans call us, American colonials. Georgia is still an English colony. Prove me erroneous. Saludos to all of you. Look out for your neighbor. And remember, there is only one race, the human race. And remember, we have, we have bigger population occupying the state of Georgia, Florida today, in Oceania without representation. We need a 51st state of the union. We need the state of Oceania. We need to give all these people representation. This, this year has been the 500th anniversary of uh, El Cano circumnavigate the planet, or Magallanes. And the uh, ship, uh, training ship El Cano is today leaving, leaving the Philippines and all those territories from the Philippines all the way to California and the west, the west coast of the United States of America, all those, all those possessions of the United States of America have no representation, have no representation in Congress. The people from Puerto Rico have no representation in Congress. The people from Vieque, the people from uh, Culebra, the people from San Croix, San Tomas, the people from the Marianas, American Samoa, Samoa, Guam. All these people need to be represented. Do not allow Georgia to be a president any longer. And let's include more, more states into this union from around the world. Let's make this the biggest union the world ever seen. Let's make this the United States of America. Saludos.